name's Joff Lawson, and you can learn to play the five-string banjo even if you've never played a musical instrument before. If you want to play the banjo, the most important thing is to get some picks. We normally wear two metal picks on the fingers and a plastic pick on the thumb. The blade part of the pick, the part that we actually play with, is on the opposite side of the finger to the fingernail. And the same is true of the thumb pick. The flat bit, the part that we play with, is on the opposite side to the thumbnail. Once you've got your picks sorted out, you need to find a comfortable way of holding the banjo. So just put the banjo in your lap and put both hands on the round end to start off with. The banjo is quite a tricky beast to hold and if you're not careful it just falls over like that. So make sure to keep your hands on it at all times. Now most people, the first time they put a banjo in their lap, they're going to hold it straight across this way. And that makes it hard to get the right hand onto the strings. You have to arch your wrist. So what we're going to do is push this end forward slightly. So just resting your hand on the heavy end, push forward slightly with this hand. Just so that you get a slight angle this way. And that makes it a lot easier to get the right hand onto the strings. I like to hold the left hand end around head height, but you can hold it higher or lower if you prefer. Once you've found a comfortable way to hold the banjo, the next thing is to get the right hand into a good position to play the strings. So just let the right hand relax. And once the right hand is relaxed, you'll notice these two fingers curl naturally. So we're going to rest these two fingers on the skin. We're playing with these two fingers. We're not going to play with these fingers. We're just going to rest them on the skin. Now we've got everything in the right place, it's time to play a few notes. So to keep things simple to start with, we're just going to play one string with each finger. So with the middle finger, we're going to play the first string like this. And with the index finger, we're going to play the second string like this. And with the thumb, you can play any string you like. So just try that. Just try playing a few notes randomly with the two fingers and the thumb. Once you've worked out how to play a few notes with the right hand, it's time to get the left hand involved. So there are a lot of frets up and down the neck that you can play and by pressing the left hand down you're going to change the sound of a string like this. So to keep things simple to start with we're just going to play on the second fret here. Now all the strings except one are going to sound good on the second fret. So on the first string, we're okay. On the second string, we need to use the first fret instead. So let me show you all that again. So 
So just try it. Just try playing a few notes randomly using the two hands together. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. In my next video, I'm going to show you a few simple right hand patterns so that you can start to play with a bit of a rhythm. Bye.